Adobe's just dropped a huge update to Premiere Pro. It's Premiere Pro 2019.1, and right now I'm gonna show you my favorite features. Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com, and today we're looking at the new updates inside of Premiere Pro 2019.1. Now, as I always do, when I show you new features, I'm also going to show you guys how to use them. So I'm going to show you my favorites. Right now, we're going to start with my favorite feature, and that's the Freeform Workspace. So here we are in Premiere Pro right now, and we can see where our bin is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select our bin and just hit the tilde key so that we can go full screen. So one of the biggest challenges in assembling a story or a timeline is getting the clips in the right order and kind of figuring out exactly how you want to do it. I know a lot of people do that on the timeline. They drop all kinds of things in the timeline. And what that does is it kind of slows it down a lot because that increases rendering speed and playback and all kinds of other issues. So here's the amazing thing. If you go up here under the menu and then we go down to icon underneath freeform. Now, once we go into this freeform view, it's really neat. So we can zoom in or out by using the uh, scroll wheel on the mouse or by just clicking in and out of here. So if we want to rearrange the order, maybe we want to put these clips over here that are kind of on land and notice how we can just drag them over. Let's put the ones with people in over here. Let's get these guys out of the way. Notice I can select more than one. So just click and drag to select more than one. So what's neat about this is we can go in here, we can zoom in if we want. So we can zoom all the way in. We can click on here and we can scrub through there. And if we want to, we could set an endpoint, play it. And we could set an out point. So that means we're just gonna play this little snippet of that clip. We can do that. Let's zoom out a little bit more. I'm gonna show you some other things we can do. We can right click, we can change the size by going down a clip size and we can make that extra large and notice now this kind of stands out why don't i zoom out right now and see how we can just kind of navigate around we could move those over here we could zoom in and if we hit the h for the hand tool now we can kind of move around in here and this enables us to just kind of lay out things how we want them now if we want to snap these together if we hold the alt key down or the option key it'll snap these two together see that so we want to do that let me show you again alt or option we can snap them and the neat thing about this is we can also save these layouts by right clicking and we can save as a new layout so that means whatever we do here if it gets lost we can always come back to our saved layout so we can also reset these to a grid based on all these different criteria so if you want to sort them by different ways, you know, camera rolls, duration, different things like that, we can do all that here. Now let me zoom out. And the other thing you can do is when you're done, if you select all of these clips, you can right click and you can do a new sequence from these clips and Premiere Pro will build the sequence and then you can continue editing. So the way I would work with this is I would just drag around the clips, find the ones I want to use, put them in the order I want, go through and just set rough in and out points, then new sequence from clip, and boom, you're editing and you've saved so much time. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So let's look at my other favorite features and these have to do with titling. And what we're gonna do is just select that and now I wanna go into my essential graphics panel. So we're just gonna go up on window here and we're gonna choose the essential graphics. All right, so I'm just reorganizing that a little bit. So we can work with templates like we always have been able to. We can bring our templates in. We can also go to Adobe Stock and get templates. There's a ton of them for free. But let's look under the edit here and let's really look at what's new. If you've ever used this before, one of the things that you might have found difficult is if you wanted to put a background in, what we had to do is go up here and we create a rectangle and then you drop that background in behind it and then just try and move it with the type. But now we can click on here, we can choose a background, we can choose the color, let's do a darker gray than that. And now we're gonna choose the size. So this enables us to spread it as far out as we want. And of course, you know, we can change the opacity of that. 
So that's really nice. Now, another thing we can do in here is we can create multiple things. Let's create another shape just for fun. Let's choose a rectangle. Yeah, let's choose a rectangle over here. We're going to drop that above it. And why don't we put another shape in there? Let's grab an ellipse. And maybe we'll give this an ellipse a color, just red, just to kind of show you how this works. I'm not trying to do anything um, earth shattering right now. And so what's neat about this is now we can put these in groups. So now we can create groups and we can put these inside the group so we can create multiple groups now. And another thing that's neat about it is if we select these shapes, we can mask them and notice how we can make our type look different. So we want to make more of a pill shape. We can do that now by masking that. So let's have a look at another thing that we can do. What if we want to apply a stroke? So now we can go in here, we can apply a stroke like we always did. And I'm just going to make it bigger by dragging here. But this is what's neat. Now we can do a multiple stroke. So let's add a second stroke and let's give it a color like, I don't know. Let's make it super bright just so we don't miss it. And we can change the size of that. So that goes bigger. And if we want to do yet another stroke, we can. Let's do another white one behind it. And make this nice and big. Okay. So what else can we do? Well, look at these shapes. They're kind of squarish. What if we wanted to round them off a little bit? Well, let's grab this tool here. We can change our joins here from miters. We can do round, we can do bevel, we can do different shapes. And let me kind of show you how that works and see how now we're able to make that a better shape. Now, what about positioning it? Here's another thing that's really interesting is if we go under view, show rulers, now we can turn on rulers and right click of course and change them from pixels to percent. And we can even drag out guides. So this is kind of like what, how you would work in Photoshop, but we're doing this in Premiere Pro. So we can actually save these guides so we can use them again. That means on other clips, we can put things in the same position. So if we go up under the view, go down to guide templates, we can save these. And also there's another one in here that's already saved and that's the save margin. So if we turn that on, we can see that. And there's a lot of new features in here um, besides these, such as mask tracking sped up two to three times faster. There's a ton of different stuff. Check it out on Adobe. Um, I'm going to show you the project that I've been working on here. But before I do, I get a question for you. Um, what do you mainly use Premiere Pro for? What kind of video are you? Um, a content creator like a YouTuber? Or are you working for a company, corporate? You're doing freelance work? You're working for a movie studio? Let us know in the comments underneath. I'd love to know what kind of video work that you're doing. So if you love tech gear, Photoshop and Lightroom, hit the subscribe button right now, become part of the cafe crew. I do a new video every single week. Hit that little notification bell so you know when I upload the new video. Um, anyway, if you like this video, smash the like button into dust. Let's check out the little project.
okay so i hope you like that quick little clip that i put together thanks for watching and until next time i'll see you at the cafe Thank mm -hmm. you.